Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Creator of the Lost channel. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about shipping and what are my favorite and most useful boxes for shipping books. What I use probably for 95 to maybe even 99% of the books I sell. So, um, hey, I appreciate the view. Uh, I look forward to your comments and, you know, what, what your favorite things are to and help people out. And as always, um, subscribe. Um, you know, what I try to do is do a mix of how-to videos and then haul book finding videos. So if you find it useful, subscribe. We'll keep on doing this, see what happens. So, hey, with that, let's jump right in. Um, all right, so there's definitely a couple of camps in book shipping, you know, selling books online. If you're doing your own fulfillment on Amazon or if you're like me, prim primarily an eBay seller, you know, where you're having to ship your own stuff out, you know, what kind of boxes, how do I ship? You know, so I get questions all the time about using priority mail. You know, I say priority mail, you know, you have to ship priority. I use the priority mail regional rate A boxes for magazines, but you have to recognize that books ship media mail. They can ship media mail for great value, especially for the weight of the book. So oftentimes you have to buy your own shipping box or mailer or whatever it is. So uh, with that in mind, you know, some people just like poly bags and, and they say poly bags are easy. I throw it in a bag, fold it down, do the adhesive and it's done. And I don't disagree with that, but I'm firmly in the camp of shipping books in boxes, some type of box for extra protection. I did poly mailers and uh, the craft bubble mailers for years, uh, years ago and I would have damage on the books. And I believe a box provides extra value to the customer. It is a little more hassle. There probably a little more cost for you on, on your shipping supplies, but I believe it, it, it sets you apart. I think it gives value. And I know when I buy a book online, I appreciate it coming in a box. I hate when it's mailed in a poly mailer because the, the corners always get bumped. I mean, I know you can do strategies of putting cardboard in there or doing extra things, but I'm just in the box camp. If you're not in the box camp, that's okay. Um, it's differing opinions, but I do boxes. And for boxes, I have traditionally uh, used two boxes for almost all of my books. And those two boxes, the, the big box I've always used is a, it's just a 10 by eight by three box. This buys you a lot. It's the size fits just a, a regular, you know, a regular hardback, you know, the, it, it fits in it. It also, the thickness, the three inches sometimes allows you if somebody buys two books or if it's a really thick book, it fits in here. So the 10 by the, the 10 by uh, eight by three is my, has been my number one go-to. That's been followed by the 12 by nine by three. Same thing, three inches high, 12 by nine in the box dimension. And just for some of those books that are a little more oversized, this, this captures those. So I'll go to the other one first, then this one. Then recently though, I've gotten into the multi-depth mailers, okay? And my, my go-to box now is this multi-box mailer. And I'll show an example of why one reason I like it is because of the speed. It, they offer protection. Um, they don't take up much room after you, after, if you're selling a lot of stuff and you're, you're doing them, they're only like, you know, one inch, one and a half inches thick when you get all wrapped, not three inches. So getting them into the post office is easier. They're fast and they offer, to me, they offer a great compromise on the box protection and the ease of a, you know, a, a poly or bubble wrap mailer. So, um, I'll show how I do this. So I'll wrap tissue, but this is a 12 by nine by three. And actually when I say by three, it will expand. You can see these little score marks, you know, it has like, you know, half to three quarter inch. So you can get, um, I think this is maybe, uh, this, this will go at least, let's just see this one. Yeah, that's, that's right at maybe two, two and a half inches that it'll, it'll go to. I like these better for thinner books, but I've even mailed, you know, regular size thick books in them and they do fine. Um, again, a 12 by nine uh, multi-depth mailer. Then the other one that I keep in stock for my shipping, it's a, this is a, uh, I get actually these off the eBay there, 12 and a half 
by 12 and a half multi-depth. So it's the same thing. The multi-depth mailer, you can see where it has the perforations where it can fold. But for the big oversized books, you know, sometimes they're like a coffee table type book. I'll, a lot of those don't fit because they're wider. So this 12 and a half by 12 and a half is really useful. So I really ship probably 99% of my books using those four mailers and I'm increasingly going to the multi-depth. I, I really like them. So let's break away and I'll show you how I use the, just how easy it is to ship. And then we'll talk about cost and, and where I get them, so. Okay, so here's an example with why I really like these, um, these flat mailers now. So here's a book I just sold on guitars. So what I'll do is I, I'll take my mailer and they're so fast to use, right? This is, you know, I just take, take this is the 12 by nine by one mailer. I'll take the book and basically I'll just put one or two sh sheets of tissue paper. This is the free stuff I get with the eBay store. You take it and you, you literally fold it down fold it this way, fold it, fold it, then I take tape. Now what I do is, you know, I wrap it all the way around so it doesn't come off like this. And then I also, I also like to take and put tape along the edges like that. And I even put one, just what I do, where it might fold or pop open. And that's it. It's wrapped. It's so fast and so easy and it's secure. So that's why I'm really leaning toward these. All right, so you, you see that it's really easy, really thin once it's done. And I, I recently had a book that I shipped in one of these because when I first started using them, I was a little concerned about protection, you know, because I don't have the corners as padded. And, and that said, if it's a really expensive book, I still like the ones that are like the three inch, the traditional box where I can put packing material all around it. But you know, if it's just a, a, just a reasonable book, it's, it's gonna be fine. And I, I had a book that I'd shipped to California and I had just shipped it and the buyer said, hey, I found out my, I was getting this from my dad. I found out my dad already had this book. I wanna, I wanna cancel. I said, well, it's already shipped. So what they did is they just, just denied receipt of the thing and they shipped it back to me which I was kind of surprised that Media Mail actually shipped it back. So it went all the way to California and all the way back to Alabama in one of these multi-depth mailers. And I undid it. I, got, I wrapped it just like I did. I showed in just previously with the tissue paper around it. The thing was perfect. No issues. So it went across the country and back. And so I have confidence that these multi-depth mailers really protect. So uh, where I find them, uh, I typically... Uh, find these right now on eBay, the best price. I would usually buy them in lots of a hundred and the multi-depth mailers are a little more expensive. They're going to run you right now, you know, this early 2022, they're running 55 to 60 cents each when, um, you, you buy them in, in 100. Uh, sometimes I always check Amazon to see if I can find them and wherever's cheapest. Those are the two places that, that I find them. It's interesting to note, you know, a year, year and a half ago, I was getting these boxes for about 45 cents, you know, somewhere between less than 50 cents at least. So they're, you know, the price of these things have gone up. So the boxes themselves are running, you know, let's just call it 55 to 60 cents. I'll just look on eBay, look on Amazon, look at what I want and wh whoever's got the best deal. Usually eBay right now, they'll do, f they'll ship them free shipping. It's like 60, $68 or something for a hundred of them with free shipping, shipping included. So they're, they're running about, about um, you know, I guess that's more like 60, yeah, 65, 68. So it's more like 68 cents. They've really gone up. And um, that's probably the biggest downside of the boxes is that extra cost. But, you know, I still charge $4 flat shipping for most of my books. But if it's a heavier book, I'm, I'll bump it to $5. And I just have to, you put to put that in your shipping, put it in your pricing. And I find that my buyers, um, I have a lot of buyers that really appreciate the books coming to them in boxes. So anyway, that's it. That's the, how, what I use. Again, the, the multi-depth mailers, the 12 by nine multi-depth, and then there's the 12 and a half by 12 and a half multi-depth. I am mailing almost all of my stuff in that, but I keep the 10 by eight by threes and the 12 by nine by threes in stock to, to do special books or something I feel like needs extra padding. Now, 
if you're selling sets, you know, or lots like, uh, you know, five or six books at a time or lots of paperbacks, you got to go to a, to a bigger uh, height box. But that cross section, that 12 by nine or that 10 by 10 by eight will still work for you. And so the three inch, you might just need a six or an eight inch. But anyway, that's what I like. That's what I use. That's what works for me. So hopefully that helps. And, um, you know, see what you think. I'll talk to you later. Bye.